Good morning, you guys. It is snowing. I am so happy. Our first snow yet. This is just making me in literally the best mood. Brody's first snow. Oh my goodness, Brody, it's your first snow. It's really coming down. What do you think? I've been so excited for his first snow. What do you think, buddy? Kind of Are you gonna eat it? <laughs> Are you so happy? <laughs> I don't want to show you guys our like surroundings because then you'll know where I live, but I'll show you the ground. It's snowing. Look what Max just got me. In celebration. I'm so happy. I didn't even tell them yet. I didn't even tell them. Wait, tell them what this is first. Let's see it right on the label. Happy Moki. Our favorite, only for special occasions. And in the winter time. Yeah. So you can probably tell by the title of this video that the special occasion is me getting verified on Instagram, yay. It's funny because when you think about it, it really actually doesn't mean anything at all. Like It's not like it's like, oh, it's unlocked these like cool features or something. I don't know why in my mind, like I just always thought about being verified i mean i feel like if you do like social media you like think about it and you're like oh that'd be so cool and in my mind like the whole instagram app would like look different and it would be like i don't even know like you could chat with someone at instagram if you actually had a problem does anyone else feel like if something goes wrong with their instagram that you're just like hopeless and there's like no way to contact them like i know there's support anyway regardless that's not the point of this the point of this is for me to tell you that i woke up this morning and i was like Whoa, I couldn't even believe it because it, I don't even want to sound just like annoying and like superficial here Like I feel like this sounds so stupid like I'm acknowledging that it really doesn't mean anything at all But it's just fun and I just posted an Instagram post talking about it and I'm like don't get me wrong I'm not trying to be like like annoying about it, you know, I Just in my mind there's so many things to be sad about these days So it's like why not celebrate any little accomplishment or win in and so I'm like, if I have an excuse to, uh, to celebrate something, I'm gonna celebrate it. So yeah, I've just been like in the best mood all day because I, I don't know, I've been kind of emotional too, just thinking back to like 15 year old, 15 year old me, Gretchen, that started YouTube eight years ago. And I was obviously such a different person and negative comments got to me so much. And it's funny because now I feel like they kind of do again, but I just know that I've come such a long way in my confidence, my independence, and I have YouTube really to thank for that and social media. It's like definitely helped me build a thick skin and be able to stand up for myself and all these things. And I don't know, I just get like sentimental, like thinking back, like I could cry right now. Cause I just started because it was like so much fun to like show my MAC eyeshadow and like, I don't know, L'Oreal foundation that I wore to school every day, in like ninth and 10th grade. Like it was just for fun and no one watched, but like I didn't care, like it took me so long, you know? And it just feels like a little bit of recognition, I guess, or like a little accomplishment. So it was just really fun. And actually I found out, it's funny cause I was like posting my Instagram stories and my little Instagram, but I feel like I don't get to like talk that much or like explain. So it's like fun that I get to like talk about it on YouTube where I get to like be more chatty. I woke up at like eight o'clock and I had a bunch of texts from my best friend, Louisa. And she actually found out before me cause she was like, I like woke up at like 6 a.m. and couldn't sleep and went on Instagram and like came across my Instagram and she's like, was texting me and she's like, just saw that she saw a blue check mark and she's like wait did I already know this like has this been a thing for like a while like now I feel like you have already been verified but like is this new like like did this, am I the first person to see this it just happened overnight and so I saw her text and I was like what because I just woken up I was like confused and I went to my Instagram and I was like whoa and I feel like like this sounds so dumb like I'm not trying to be annoying but maybe if you create content too you would understand but I think like I've had dreams before where I wake up in the morning and I'm like oh my gosh I got verified in my dream and I like checked my Instagram and I'm like okay no and I think I just got to the point since I've been on YouTube for eight years that I was like okay honestly I'll probably never be verified like I've, I've seen accounts that have like a million followers and aren't verified so I'm like I guess I'm just never gonna get verified but like it's fine like I could die happy if I got verified whatever and so it's just like 
really surreal and definitely anticlimactic. I'm like, okay, there's a blue check mark. Like, that's it. Like, it really doesn't matter. So, I'm here to tell you that it doesn't matter at all. But, like, if I have an excuse to celebrate, I'm going to. So, I had my little peppermint mocha. And sorry, this vlog is shorter than usual because it's already way later. I was just like taking photos today and working on Vlogmas. I feel like that's behind the scenes again that you don't see to get yesterday's Vlogmas that I was posting today up, you know? Um, but I just want to go like do freaking no angels in the snow. Let me insert my iPhone footage right here that I took this morning when we were on our snowy walk with Brody because it was so much fun. What do you think of snow, buddy? He loves it. <laughs> What do you think, buddy? What do you think? He's so like intrigued. Hi. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, sleepy. You are just such a sleeper, huh? What a cutie patootie. Oh, that reminds me. In the Instagram picture that I just posted, I took a picture of Brody today after we were playing in the snow on my bed and it just looks so cute. And I got new pillows in last night from Jenny Kane that I ordered. And I know if you guys listen to my podcast, I talked about that. I was so excited, like I couldn't wait for them to come. Cause I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be a big girl grown up and order these pillows that I wanted to buy. That's when you know you're like an adult when I was most excited for my decorative pillows to come <laughs> for my bed, you know? But I was like, I'm gonna get these nice pillows, invest because I've had my eye on them for so long and they finally came and they're really cute so I can show you guys that and maybe to celebrate later I can convince Max to go out to dinner because I'm just like we need to like do something like this is so fun and like no it's not a big deal but just for today it can be a reason to celebrate and be a little joyful a little jolly this holiday season and I'm just oh hi <laughs> I'm just not over that it's Brody's first snow today. Like, what a treat. What a special day. Dun, 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 dun. Here are our pillows. Okay, the tape on the wall really ruins it. You guys are probably so sick of seeing that. Me too. I'm making it a promise my, to myself to figure out the picture frames within like the next week. Because basically I was waiting, long story short, I was waiting for ones to come back in stock and I just feel like they're not. So I need to just move on from the ones I wanted and like find new ones. Um, but here are my big grown up pillows. I don't know why, I just feel like a grown up. I feel like I never have decorative pillows. Like Max and I have always just been very practical and just put our like normal you know, pillows with sheets. These are just like the only pillows we ever had on our bed, like the ones that we sleep with. But I was like, you know what? I just want like a big plush cozy looking bed, like the ones that you see when you walk into Pottery Barn. So I'm just gonna do it and get the cute decorative ones. I love that these are all linen. The only thing that I worry about, so like watch me change my mind, but no, because I love these. These are all linen. And so I feel like you're sp supposed to sort of like mix the textures, like see how this is all like crinkly from the linen and then this is like this quilt. Like I feel like when you mix the fabrics and the textures, it makes it really just dimensional and cozy and stuff. Um, so it kind of worries me that these are all linen, but I just love the way they look. So I'm not that worried and obviously I went for like different colors, but I just love that they're all linen. I really like the ones on Jenny Kane. You, this isn't sponsored by them or anything, just love them. Um, you didn't have to get pillow inserts and then the covers because I just, Feel like I always mess that up. Like I don't get the right size insert for the cover. Like I think the insert is supposed to be bigger than the cover whenever you do that. So I just always screw it up. So I like that it came with the insert in there. And Arvin taught me you gotta do the chop. I don't know why, maybe it just makes it look fancy or something. And they just are really nice. They must be like down filled. I love the way they feel. They're so soft, they're such good quality. And you know what? I was looking at ones from like Target and other places that looked similar, but obviously weren't as expensive. So I was like, okay, maybe I can just get cheaper ones, like get away with it. But there was just questionable reviews saying like not good things about them, that they weren't comfortable or they were lumpy or like fell apart or stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? I know they'll last me for a while if I just like take the plunge, get the ones I really want. And the this color, I wanna say, I was about to say oatmeal, but it's, no, I think this is called natural because it's like definitely darker than an oatmeal color. And I just like the contrast. I wanna get a blanket now that's maybe like a tan or like this natural color. 
because I feel like it would just wrap it all together. Um, but we are, we are be we're being, we're getting close, people, to a finished bedroom. Just obviously need to figure out the picture frames. But I just thought these were so cute and fun. See, like another reason, like a little thing to be excited about. I feel like these days, if you have something little, like new pillows to be excited about, it's just more fun that way. It's just like more exciting, joyful. I don't know, you know? It's like, why not? take the little things or like everyday things like pillows and just be really happy about it. I feel like that's always been me though. Like I just find joy and make everyday little things like special. That's like something that I love to do. So yeah, that's all for now. Verified on IG, woo! Look ma, I made it, what's that saying? Oh, honestly, I'll give you guys the real real though for a sec, like the what do I do at the end of my video? GLB smells the tea, I'm spilling the tea right now. That I was pretty sad this morning, quickly after I found out, I was crying, texting my mom because, wow, I'm not gonna cry again. But I was just like, oh, when big things or like moments like this happen, like, like this isn't even that big. So I'm sure you can imagine other bigger moments is even more tough. All I wanna do is call up my dad and tell him and like, I was just thinking like, oh, he would be so proud of me because he was literally my number one fan on YouTube. And you guys will go back to my old videos and like DM me screenshots. He would be like the top comment because he just cared so much and loved me so much. My videos, and I know he'd be really proud so I need to not be sad because I know he's looking in heaven. Maybe that's why it was snowing today. Maybe he had it snow to be like a little celebration. I don't know because he knows that I love snow. What do you think? He would have loved you, buddy. Oh. It's not his fault. It's not his fault? You guys. What? I threw it over there. I think his tail just hit the, my poor rug. His tail hit the, hit the peppermint mocha. I wish I finished it, it wouldn't be everywhere. Okay, I gotta clean this We're up. We're arriving at dinner right now, you guys. Look at the Christmas tree. As I drive through. How pretty. No, you don't have to. They can see. Basically, we are going to. It's right there. What valet? I am the valet. <laughs> yeah, you're never the valet. Um, the top level of where we're going is Top Cut, which is our favorite steakhouse that like we go to too much. It's so good. But we're actually gonna try the Italian place the lighting is so weird right is now is it italian mm -hmm. underneath of top cut called melt this is gonna be so fun and it's by the same I'm so people excited. I think. oh it is yeah i mean that would make sense they're like yeah. on top of each other mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. i'm so excited All right. you guys it is so pretty in here <sighs> Like I love it. Don't you love it in here, Max? I do. And we're at this like big circle table. It's so I feel fun. Like I'm in, like, a hotel. Yeah, I kind of get that vibe. It kind of is like the restaurant when we were staying in Laguna. Mm -hmm. It kind of seems like that restaurant yeah. too, doesn't it? It does. At the hotel. So yeah. that's why you could think that. You guys, Max goes. I bet that Caesar salad's gonna be really big. And I was like, no. I was like, no way. Literally huge. And of course we had to get Caprese. So good. <laughs> Max got carbonara. And I got spaghetti and meatballs. Classic. And also, if you guys noticed, there was a party over there earlier, but we're like, we basically, I think now have the entire restaurant to ourselves. Like no one's here. Kind of nice. I rented out the place for the evening. Oh, you did? I didn't, I didn't want to tell you. Thank you. you. Go off. <laughs> back from dinner, you guys. I am stuffed back. But that was so good. Oh, the cake. It was like this lemony pound cake thing. I was like, I think we need that. We did. It was delish. And this can just be a reminder to you guys to celebrate the small things in life you know it's just funner that way more fun anyway this top is from revolve i wanted to show you i literally just started taking it off and put it back on because i wanted to show you guys and i knew i forgot so it is did i just say that it's from revolve and remember when i was freaking out that one day about literally this but in light pink i loved it so much and then they made it in a black color and i was like okay i need that too because to me this is just like the most gorgeous 
style of top. I just think it's so beautiful. And then it kind of goes like low in the back, if you can see. And then, oh, my jeans are rolled up high because I wore um, booties that went up a little higher, but I took those off already. And these, I was just saying the other day how I feel like I don't wear dark wash jeans anymore. These, I would say, are definitely darker, um, but they're such a go-to. Max got them for me last time we did the boyfriend girlfriend shopping challenge. And they are from Madewell. They fit me so well. And whenever I got jeans from Madewell, I had zero luck. But the ones that Max got me are perfect. And they're like rolled over twice. So that's why they don't look long enough. But they are. So love them. The booties. Black top. It was very simple. So cute. We had the best dinner. Realizing I've been wearing these pajamas in like every single vlog. I just really like them. And they're cozy. And they're the ones that Max got me. And the boyfriend buys my outfit. So. Sorry, but I immediately took off my makeup and put on my PJs because I'm just tired and wanted to be cozy in my cozy bed and my new pillows. But I was just looking in the comments and now it's time for GLB Spills the Tea. I really like this one. It said, what is your favorite Christmas song? And at first I was like, do I have a favorite Christmas song? And then I was like, yes, obviously. Pennies from Heaven. So good. Elf vibes, obviously. That's definitely how I first heard it. You guys, I actually forget how old Elf is, but I remember so specifically watching it because I said it was my family tradition. We'd always watch it on Christmas Eve. But my grandparents' house, my mom's parents, we would go and I'm watching it with them. This is like so long ago, like that house isn't even like in our family or anymore. It got sold a while ago. But I remember going to their house like so specifically. I can like visualize it. And they had Elf on VCR. VHS, VC, whatever it's called. Max, what are those tapes called? Oh, VHS tapes for your VCR, right? Yes. Okay, because I was telling them, do you realize how old Elf is? How old Elf is? Yeah, my grandparents had it on VHS. No. Yes. I mean, that was probably dramatic of them. Maybe they didn't have a CD, or not CD. Oh my God, DVD player. <laughs> but like obviously there was a DVD player around then, but I think it came out like early 2000s, maybe like 2006, 2008. 2003. 2003? Yeah. I was right, early 2000s. Isn't that crazy? They had it on a VHS. And now it's like in my Apple movies, Apple TV, iTunes, whatever it is. You guys know. Wow, I'm struggling with the terms. But what I'm trying to say is also my mom would kill me. I always itch my nose if you guys notice. Like I'm always going like this because my nose gets itchy and she thinks it's like really rude of me. And that uh, I get a line on my nose because I like rub it so much. Yeah, so my mom would hate it if she was watching my vlog right now. Anytime we're in person, she goes, Gretchen, stop doing that. Anyway, what I'm trying to say, <laughs> I digress. Elf on VHS at my grandparents' house. Must be the first time I heard the song Pennies in Heaven. I'm sure that's why it's like a big Christmas song. But it's just so good and it's like the right vibe. And it's that part, it's probably being bad. It's that part in Elf when um, I think he goes to Gimbal's the first time and it's like pennies from heaven for you and me. Oh, it's just so good. And he's like doing the, um, oh, I can't even think of what it's called. What's that thing when you go into a hotel? I'm like really struggling right now. I'm tired. I need to go to bed. What's that? Revolving door. Oh my gosh, you knew what I was saying. The revolving doors. You know, Pennies in Heaven plays when he's flying through the revolving door and he's like going, he just keeps going in circles and he's like, ah, cause he like hasn't done it before. Oh my goodness. We want in on the air. Hi, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was struggling, so this is good. You're helping me anyway. I'm like, he goes through that spinny thing in the door. Mm -hmm. Revolving door. What's your favorite Christmas song, Max? Christmas song? Yeah, that oh, was that GLB one, Spills the Tea um, today. That one that I, we had in the car the other day by Michael Bublé. Christmas. Oh, it's, it's finally here. I don't, Christmas. I think that's the right way. It's snowing up in here. <laughs> Christmas. That one. <laughs> I think it's That was my own rendition, but. Oh, okay. It's literally, I can feel his tail wagging <laughs> on my legs. He's Brody. being crazy. I can tell. It's literally called Christmas. That's Christmas, the title. Christmas, it's finally here. <laughs> I think mean, you're making up. But that's the gist Guys, of it. Guys, Max always sings the long, wrong lyrics to things. I do not. But it makes me laugh. Like, you do it on purpose. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. What are you talking about? All the time. Oh, you guys should have heard him. He was doing his Kentucky Derby on the way home from dinner. The Silver Rowdy's done it again! Oh, uh, triple crown. We are such nerds. Okay, 
love you guys good night goodbye go celebrate something little in your life today I, i've said that like four times in this video whoa Gesundheit. he literally just sneezed on me that sprayed you could probably see it in the video your elbow. okay this is being long and drawn on love you see you in tomorrow's vlogmas bye, bye. <laughs>